the truth is, there is no alien agenda there is only an anti-AT agenda, because the truth has no agenda. Hello, dear people of planet Earth, I have some important information to share and need to share it soon before anything happens to me that you may not see me again in the not too distant future. Either I get driven to the point where I end my life from too much pain and rejection people impose on me knowing my weakness is being too sensitive, by fabrications and assumptions, and demonizing the true me, which resulted me getting removed from the website extraterrestrials ning for no reason, by a particular member who may be part of allies of humanity anti AT agenda propaganda hate machine. So bang goes my hybrid support group, and more misunderstanding towards hybrids on how to survive on a class zero planet, where everything is manipulated by money, and religio-political ideology. Thank goodness I have a cat, that keeps me company in the times when people alienate the me the alien. This has been going on quite extensively for the past three years with bannings, deletions, censorships, bullying and cyberbullying, even though I had it all my life through childhood to present because I appear and act alien to the rest of society because of gender issues and more, as if they have taken over the bonded chains of my religious extremist parents to conform me to this local fabricated religio-political ideology on this planet, or they find a way to assassinate me or capture me and keep me locked away experimenting with my DNA which I am going to describe in this information I am sharing. Or my extraterrestrial parents take me off this planet in the nick of time, since my life will end in one of the three endings when all go goes to pot, where the elites rape the planet and life to the point they mass murder millions of people and living things in the wake of their blinded suicide from the money disease and the lust of power and control, before people start criticizing me in this video, no one is perfect, but we are all human, even as hybrids, and you two are hybrids, just that we have a bit more varied genes. So now down to the video and the information I need to share, I decided not to reflect the fear these elite are transmitting, as it made some people uneasy, when I was exposing the mindset and consciousness of these elite, it grabs you by the balls, and so I got assumed and blamed for the negative being video, instead of understanding that it was a reflection, like a mirror of the reflection of the ideals of the elite religio-political bastards. So I would make this video appear more light-hearted, with fascinating imagery and colors but provide the necessary information that you need to know, regardless if you agree or not, but would be essential in the not too near future if things do go pear-shaped, and the last card occurs, and that you would know and understand what you dealing with, and why and how to consciously object non-violently when violence faces you. This is going to be controversial information, so please do make yourself comfortable, and relaxed as possible and be open to thinking, I have received more rejections on Facebook for sharing this, two days ago from creating this video, I had a conversation with a starseed friend in real life at the corner of my block on the street where I live, we had an in-depth intellectual discussion about this information, and we both learned from each other, it was about the anti at agenda, the increase in hate and demonization towards extraterrestrials, and the bad alien versus good alien scene and how it is an illusion and propaganda for the last card. You also know about the PDF file that had been constructed by NASA for population control, this is part of it, but the topic I am going to share with you is related but very much kept secret. Stephen Greer perhaps knows about it, or will find out more about this, like the things I have shared before he mentioned them in his lectures. I had been discussing with my friend, and there was an undercover agent spy walking around the block, wearing a different color coat all the time hoping he would not get noticed, he did, but we dispersed, 
as we did not wish be studied so something sinister would be done to us. Well the next day from this, that's when I discovered I had been removed of from extraterrestrials Ning website, as I have been promoting the awareness to stop and prevent the anti AT agenda from developing into initiating the last card thing which is the war to end wars to implement a worldwide dictatorship, with a fake alien invasion. This is not a new thing that all wars are fabricated without anything as bizarre as this agenda the alien have on their last card, it is the same old earth shit, where several instigators are created to give people a reason to believe there is a reason to go to war, when truly there is no reason, and it's only people that have been overhyped. Well as I have mentioned before that reverse engineered extraterrestrial technology such as flying discs also known as flying saucers would be used, the question is who would fly these vehicles? Well these things would be piloted by cybernetic bioengineered robots created from cloning the dead bodies of Elohim style people to create the fake aliens. As you know most of the negative genuine abductions, are done using these entities, Milobs is not really a new thing, it's just their methods of doing it has become more sophisticated as they develop the technology. The technology they have under their asses is at least 60 years ahead on what technology the public knows and uses. As an example is the compact CD, it had been invented in the 1960s, but only came into the public domain in the 1990s. In the past most milops were done by helicopter than reversed engineer debt vehicles. Evidence to support this are the cow abductions, where in the past a demonized extraterrestrials, and had been witnessed with helicopters pretending to be UFOs, and together with reverse engineer DT vehicles. As you know I am all for advanced technology to implement a paradismic society, that is a society without work and money, and normally class 1 to higher class planets where there is no reliance on fossil and nuclear fuels. Also the existence of immortality, genetic energy where technology is symbiosis with nature, without harming but coexisting with nature. All these things that are on Paradisa Morgan Rael ought for the benefit of humanity, as my friend Rael would say science without love is dangerous. The technology exists today to implement Paradism society and transform this planet into a class 1 planet from a class 0 planet overnight, if the elite openly handed down this technology to the people people with consciousness and capable of using this technology to benefit all people and all life on this planet. The problem is with the religio-political structure of this planet with the military being first priority to support the agenda of the elites, and that's where all the advanced science experiments happen with DARPA. One of these experiments which was even covered in the online course of Coursera and focused on Obama's funded Blue Brain project, that was to map the neural structure of the human brain, kind of like getting the full circuit diagram on how the brain works, how consciousness is processed, data and memories stored and more. It also gives them the sound ability to transfer consciousness to machine from the brain and then from the machine back into the brain again. So you are wondering, how is this technology related to the man-made fake alien zombies? Well as everyone knows drones are no longer a conspiracy in science fiction, they are used today in distant battles and recently against their own citizens. With the technology development with DARPA or Borma has cyborg bodyguards. DARPA only released their old prototype info to the public a year ago, which is outdated to what is modern and secret, and much of the MIB agents have been upgraded like Subaman into these Borgs. Originally they were just mind-altered zombies created from mind manipulation of electromagnetic radiation and chemicals, which is why they looked so pale. Now they have observable bionic parts sticking out from them. Only a few people which of you noticed this and identified them as being robots or cyborgs, but the misinformation from the David Eyed Reptilian agenda, made people perceive these cyborgs as alien bodyguards. These are Earth-human Terminator-like cyborgs, 
thus distracting people from the truth and it went viral over the internet. As reptilian bodyguards the elites laughed at this and feel they have successfully made conspiracy theorists their own tools to bring out the last card, with the allies of humanity, and new message from God as a stabilizing buffer, to hide the truth deeper than expected, and easier for them to roll out this war to end wars for a world dictatorship. The truth is what they don't know is this war ends in chaos where they end up killing themselves with the billions of people that inhabit this planet and their mass extermination program where they treat people like pests that need extermination, kills them too. They don't know this, because they are so naive and stupid and blinded by the money disease and lust for power and to take over the galaxy they need to know that they will kill themselves off with everyone else so they can ray, think on things and give the technology to the people, step down and end hierarchical structured society and realize that we are all one and are people, living people with feelings, emotions who all have a right to exist, as I have mentioned about David Icke, and many others like him, they appear as heroes, but are often used as instigators to lure protesters and paradigm shifters into the wrong direction with the wrong theory and perception of the truth, that is why the best truth seeking tool you can use, is to observe if the information is shared to humanity for the sake to help humanity be aware on what's going around, to save it, or to sell the information and earn a living on defeating the objective of smashing the system and paradigm to implement a better system, of no slavery, money, pain and suffering, this can be observed, and often as well undercover police and agents are deployed in protests to identify people and perform domestic arrests when the protesters are at their homes and not in the street marching. This is one of the reasons why I have stepped out of large public protests, but work with doing activism and hacktivism online and in dream state, also known as remote viewing or I would term remote elite mind hacking which is all part of the science of telepathy. One of these secret agents updated the tagloid on Encyclopedia Dramatica assuming I am a Camille or a lefty because of my political ideology of paradism and geniocracy, very much similar to the Star Trek ideology. Yes I have drifted away from the topic a bit on the fake entities, well to be honest, the conspiracy of clonade not producing a clone is not true, there were religio-political implications, and the patients involved went into hiding, the first human clone on this planet was done by this group that originated from the Relian movement, somehow this technology had been stolen or pinched from them discreetly by the industrial military complex such as DARPA in connection with the Navy Space Agency and NASA and so on, sound far-fetched, no, well look with Snowden exposing how the NSA, the CIA and so on how they can collect the data and private information that is sent over the internet since the release of Windows 95 in 1995, and Clonade announced the first human cloned in 2000, and it is not far-fetched to say that the technology had been pinched, and often really and are trolled by agents and spies who support the misinformation about them, it's so that these agencies have privacy and objective secrecy, while the citizens of planet Earth have no privacy from these bastards, so this technology that had been pinched had been used to clone the entities of the shot down visitors and creators of humanity who are artists and scientists, purely coming to this planet for research, observation and work. The elites have been trying to get the cloning technology to work successfully since the time of Hitler with his eugenics projects, and Clonade was successful, and that's why the bastards jumped in and pinched it from them, so now you know they are capable of cloning extraterrestrial bodies they collected, but they do not wish these clones to be conscious, so they have altered them to be zombies in underground tunnels and bunkers, which you have heard of before and one of these exist in Area 51, and that leaked video of a worker that had ended up being psychotic, and screaming extra-dimensional beings and so on, 
He saw these things, but with the technology they used to zombify these ET clone captives they did on him partially, making what he saw respond to it not rationally but in enforced psychotic way with mind control techniques developed by DARPA, and extra-dimensional, because the reverse-engineered technology down there was mind-blowing. This is the truth about the conspiracy of these underground artificial womb centers, where this truth that leaks out gets changed to demonize star people, on what they have observed and interpreted of their shock and fear, without thinking about it with a rational logical mind, being rational and logical about encountering or observing things you cannot explain at first glance as necessary to make sense of it and analyze it after meditation rather than on the spot, since the brain is creative, and it can play tricks, dig in, take memory shots, and get out, and study them later in a calm environment and make sense what had been observed. It has reached the point with Obama's funded Blue Brain project of mapping the human brain, they are capable of fully programming these cloned entities and using them as avatars, like you see in the Avatar movie, where soldiers spend their time in sleeping capsules, and their consciousness is transferred to these biological robot bodies and do many mill of abductions, to create confusion and to demonize the extraterrestrials, where this information is kept secret and promote the anti-AT agenda with the final top-up with using David Icke and many extraterrestrial-oriented social groups, ufologists, focusing on the good alien versus bad alien particularly with allies of humanity and the new message of God, to reinforce the religio-political ideology of this planet to accommodate as a buffer against disclosure and truth, I've shared this information not for people to believe, but understand this as a mechanism to think rationally and not jump into the alien invasion bandwagon, and understand that the real star people, Elohim do not wish to invade and exploit the resources of this planet, because they terraformed and bioengineered life here, and would like the humanity of this planet to be part of the galactic community. They don't wish to have a war thrown on them, to lower their consciousnesses to the level of a class zero planet, if this last card alien false flag fake alien invasion gets implemented, it is our task not to let this last card be implemented and grow our consciousnesses to the high levels of that of the extraterrestrials, and implement a paradise on earth. The extraterrestrials wish to have first contact and make the connection so that Earth people become part of the galactic family, and keep the cycle of life going, where Earth people become Elohim and star people one day, visiting planets exploring and also terraforming and starting life off on new worlds. They know about the radiation problem with Fukushima and wish to help and help clean up the planet and make it the Eden it once was and promote technology that would coexist with nature, getting rid of fossil fuels, nuclear power, roads, borders and boundaries, very much like the world of the future Nikola Tesla dreamed of. It is sad that his very invention of the death ray, the device that bumped extraterrestrial spacecraft out of the sky, and the industrial military complex jumped in like a pack of vultures for this technology to exploit you, me, everyone and nature. The extraterrestrials only would make a large official appearance and landing when people learn to love and understand the truth about extraterrestrials, and realize this alien invasion propaganda is science fiction and not science fact when the ratio of acceptance and openness and evolution to higher consciousness occurs, they will come down with open arms with love, compassion and understanding, and offer their help and relationship where you are respected as a human being, an individual who is creative, they want to see everyone being happy and bubbling with joy and happiness in the oneness of the infinite. Please welcome the extraterrestrials your distant mothers and fathers in space and rejoin with the family and have fun. Much love. Namaste.